Hi there and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will explore how we can create general ledger accounts in SAP S4HANA using Fiori. Therefore, we click on this little icon over here and then in the search bar, we type in manage G slash L account. And then you can see over here the application called manage GL account master data. We select this one and we are forwarded to the initial screen for the GL account master data maintenance. Over here, you can see a search bar where we at least need to insert a chart of accounts. So let's select one and hit go. And that's basically it. Now we can click on go over here to display a list of all the GL accounts already existing in our system. However, now we want to create a new one from scratch. Therefore, you can see here this plus symbol. We click on this one and you can see we are forwarded to a new screen where we can now fill the information for our general ledger account. So first of all, we need to provide an ID for this general ledger account. Please be aware that the ID could be alphanumeric or numeric. This really depends on your system settings. I will link you another video of mine in the description of this one, explaining more about the customizing settings for the chart of accounts, because from these customizing settings, we can also derive how to name this particular account or accounts in general. So right now I will insert a six digit number in my case. And then you can see here we have different tabs. Right now we are in the header tab, but I could click on general. You can see the page scrolls down a bit. We need to provide a chart of accounts again. Let's select this one. Then we need to select an account type. Actually, this is a drop down menu. You can see we have four options here. We have the balance sheet account. So if this account is a normal balance sheet account, we would select this one. We have the non operating expense or income account. This would be an expense or income account, which is not related primarily to our main business, let's say like this, meaning that for instance, if our main business is manufacturing steel, however, we also own some buildings that we rent for other companies, then the income from the rent would be a non-operating income in this instance. So an income which is not related to our main business, which would be manufacturing or producing steel. Then we have the primary cost or revenue. This is used if we want to specify this account as a primary cost or revenue account. So in this case, it would also be linked to the controlling, so the managerial accounting in the system or a secondary cost account, which is also used in controlling, or you can also call it managerial accounting for transfer reasons. Actually, it could be that you can see not only four entries over here, but five. This depends on your system version. So the fifth entry here would be for cash accounts. However, right now I will select a normal balance sheet account. Then we can select here the account group. So the account group in particular is used to classify our accounts further. I will select here a GL account general. This account group will also decide about the number we can insert over here. You can see that these two entries here are now grayed out because we have a balance sheet account and those entries would only be valid for a profit and loss account. However, we need to maintain a short text, let's say test account. We can also maintain a long text and if necessary, a trading partner number if this general ledger account should be linked to our consolidation, so our group reporting. We have some other flags over here. For instance, we can set this general ledger account to be blocked for posting, so no more transactions can be submitted for this particular account, or we can also mark it for deletion if it shouldn't be used in future anymore. We can insert here some translations for other countries for this GL account, and over here we can see the change history. Let's go to the company code data. So right now we created, let's say the main data for the general ledger account. However, as you've already learned in my previous video on general ledger accounts, we always have a chart of accounts section with the general data like the title and so on. And we have a company code section for each and every GL account. So we create a GL account once with the global data, let's say it like this, and then we can create specific parameters per company code, which is done in this area over here. If you want more background information on this topic, I will also link you my introductory video on general ledger accounts in the description of this one. However, let's now click on the plus symbol over here. We are forwarded to a new screen where we can assign this general ledger account to a company code. So let's actually do this new company code assignment. We select the company code 1710 in my example, and then you can see that the account currency is already 
derived from the company code settings. I also explained in another video how we can create company codes. I will link it as well in the description of this one. However, if necessary, we can set here some parameters like only balance in local currency so that the balance is only displayed in the local currency, which is US dollar. We can select a text category if necessary or also specify that posting without taxes is allowed in this instance. We can also set an alternative general ledger account. This is used for particular countries where the balance sheet has to be ordered in a certain way, let's say like this. And then quite importantly, we can set this general ledger account to be open item managed so that we can inspect whether there's a balance on this account and also quite important the sort key so we can say how postings with this GL accounts will be sorted. For instance, we could say that they should be sorted by the posting date. Further down, we have a mandatory field called field status group. So the field status group will actually decide what kind of fields will be mandatory, hidden or optional when we use this particular general ledger account during financial transactions. So once we insert this general ledger account in a financial transaction, the field status group assigned to this GL account will be checked in the background and then decide about the fields that will be displayed in this financial transaction. So here, let's actually click on search and then select one. And that's basically it. Now we can scroll down where we see some administration information and change history, but that's basically it. So we can click on OK. You can see we are now back in the chart of accounts view and we can see here that at least one company code was added with the necessary information. Further down, we have also the controlling area section where we can click on generate so that this general ledger account is also linked to our controlling area. Further down, we have a where used list this will be filled if our general ledger account is used in a financial statement version. Right now, there is no data because we are just creating this general ledger account. And that's basically it. Now we can click on save and the general ledger account has been created both in the chart of accounts view and also in the company code view. This general ledger account can now be used for financial transactions. Yeah, this marks the end of the video. I hope you gained good knowledge. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Thanks a lot and see you next time.